Hello YouTube. Yeah, it's been a while. I figured it out it's been a while we cut out a tutorial. So today and it's not just that it's been a while we cut a tutorial. I can't remember the last time I did a Photoshop tutorial. So today I'm gonna be doing something for the game designers and it's a tutorial on how to create animated GIFs. So what I'm gonna do now is okay, let's say you have a character you want to you want him to walk, so you want to convert him to a GIF animation. Maybe you want to use it for um, a banner ad or something, or even in a game that you want to send to your developer, and you want to save save it as a GIF. So here is how to do it in Photoshop. I'm gonna import my sprites. We call them sprites. Um, your you know animated images that you have broken down into different frames. We call it sprite. So what I'll do is I'll just navigate to my because I did a render recently. I rendered out an animation. Yeah, this one. So what I'll do is I'm gonna select the frames that I want to animate, then bring them into Photoshop. So I'll 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 use the place command instead of the open. I'll go to file. So okay, let's say you have your open canvas right here. Like this place is just empty. So what I'll do is I'll just go in and place and navigate back to my folder. Okay, here it is. So I'll select I just select few frames. Now this um this animation has about twenty twenty frames. So I'm gonna select just ten of it. Because ten can still make um so what I'll just start by selecting the first one. Yeah, this then I'll go for this. Okay, I'll I'll go for this first. Then I'll place it in my canvas like that. I won't move it because I don't want um to change the orientation or the position of the character. So I'll leave that. So that's the frame. So I'll go up. I'll do the same thing. So I'm gonna pause the video here while. Okay, let me import it again so you see the process. So you just go to file, place, and my next frame would be um two. So I'm gonna be skipping one frame each. But for your animated um sequences it depends on what you have what you're using you can get uh, animated sprites online you can get a sprite sheet so i'm just using this one i worked with in 3d max this is for my um the game i'm working on so i'll select this place i'll do the same thing so i'll just leave it you can see the way i did that so I'll, i'm not moving i'm not scaling i'll just leave it that way so i'm going to pause the video right here so i'll import the remaining um sequences okay Okay, now I'm back. I've finished importing my character, uh, my this um, the animated sequence. So, w um, what I have now is different. So I just l um layered everything on top of each other. So what I'll do now is I'll go to Window, and enable timeline because you can't create animation in Photoshop without enabling timeline. Okay, so I'll just move this here. Then I'll snap it just scale it up yeah so <laughs> okay so I'm gonna click um, when you enable your timeline this is the first thing you're gonna see you're gonna see timeline mini bridge then create frame animation what we want to do is we don't want to use the um, video editor style of animation creation in in this pro in this video what we're going to use we're going to use the create frame animation so we want to create create animation with frames so i'm going to click this now we have we have this so the ne first thing i need to do is make sure our first frame is correct and we need to shut off all these ones that are not in this frame so s just go ahead and shut it off and the way the frame animation works in photoshop on whatever frame you want to use you want to make sure you you enable the frame you want like if you on this frame is doing this pose then the next frame you switch this pose off because it's, it's no longer valid then we'll switch to this one so on this frame just take note of this place take note of the layer layers so on this frame it has we have just one layer switched on then on frame 2 
we have that layer switched off and this new layer switched on so on frame 3 we create another frame let me just go ahead and create 10 frames so just like that go ahead and create 10 frames so on frame on frame 3 I'll switch frame 2 off then switch on this other one I'll go the same thing which other one? I'll do the same thing on on frame yeah on frame 4 so so we just keep going like that and switching st stuff on and off so on frame 5 we go to the fifth one switch it on frame 6 switch this off switch this on okay I think we did this so that's 10 so just go to this switch this on and switch this off so go to 8 okay so I need to switch off switch this on and switch this off so 9 switch this on switch this off so just switch on the last one so what I did was I made sure on every frame we don't have two frames on so on each frame we have the correct image switched on on each frame so that's the idea so now if I click play okay we have a problem So we need to go in and set the timing. So select everything. Select everything. We need to adjust the timing. We set it to 0 0.1. Then we just set the loop to forever. Then we we'll play. Still a problem. Okay. Wow. We didn't switch within. So you have to do this again. On frame two, frame three. I made a mess. Sorry about that. So four switches off. Switch it on. Five. So we're going for ten next. So now if I play this, you should be able to have something like this. So now we have our character running because what we were able to um switch switch um the layers on and off. So we can see it loops correctly. And we can see the f the lighting effect um the glow effects whenever I hit the last frame. So that's that's how to create a very basic I've done a uh, tutorial on this before. You can go and go ahead and check it out. And um, like I said, this character is for my mobile game that I've been working on. I made the first part so sometime in July. You can go check it out. It should be down right here. Okay. So now to save this out, because we can just have it in here and it's just running around. To save it out, you go to s file. Sorry about that. File, save for web. Then here, you can set it to GIF. And you can enable adaptive if you go perpetual depends on that this will determine the quality so i usually use adaptive and set this to 256 okay so transparency on because we want this to be so you just go ahead and play you can play it now you can see it's still moving quite well so you just click save now wherever you want to point you can save it wherever you want so i'll just go ahead and call this tutorial okay so save this and that's how to make an animated jive so I can just go ahead and check it out
but yeah it is so so I can just um preview this with I can preview it with Windows so I'll just use um I can use Internet Explorer I think that's very better so okay so can see our character is running quite well so that's how to create an animated GIF in Photoshop any question drop your comments below and if you like this video don't forget to share comment below so can. and if you think there's a better way or smarter way to get this done kindly let me know don't forget to share comment and subscribe bye Thank you.